no! It's been run over. I think so. Here. Huh? This one. Packing up, packing up. So we've got a whole load of new stickers to add to our beloved Bumblebee. We've got stickers from Cargo Rider, who did our shipping, Overland Embassy, who did our insurance here in Panama, and then our lovely sponsor, Motorcycle World, who gave us Bumblebee in the beginning. They've got a new logo, this awesome circular logo here. So we need to find places for all of this. Yes. I would say as well, here, okay. because we had a sticker here, didn't we? But I think it fell off. We got stickers from Dunlop, but they were all so bad quality that they all of them fell off. So now we have no Dunlop stickers anymore. Cool, yep, yeah, that looks good. What about in the center? Looks quite cool, no? Okay. You know, because then it's like a face. It's like a fox face. Okay. Yeah, that's not bad, is it? New friends that we met over at the Overland Embassy. <laughs> Perseguiendo Caminos. And these guys were traveling south and crossing the Darien Gap, but in the opposite direction with this beast of a, of a motorhome. So they can have pride of place at the front. Normally we had our googly eyes here and here, but you know, we even bought some replacement googly eyes, but they just keep falling off. Lavi and Ollie? Yeah. Where? Yeah. Yes. Lavi and Ollie, front and centre. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Yes. Lucas Paranormal, Nikos, our travelling buddy. There we go. Perfect. Cool. Perfect. Cargo rider. Okay, look at that. We're starting to get some stickers on there. Nice. That looks good. I like it. Yeah, apparently the front camera is not going to work this morning, so we'll go without it. Our front camera is very temperamental. That's right. <laughs> it's probably a little bit angry that we didn't film for the past four days. <laughs> it is incredibly hot and humid this morning. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Welcome to Panama, baby. I am sweating buckets and we've only just, just begun. I'm sweating swimming pools. Yeah, exactly. Buckets aren't enough in Panama. <laughs> this is the, a huge queue of traffic. Yep. I'm just going to go. Yep. I'm just going to go. Whee! <laughs> Good morning, world. Welcome back to the channel. It's day number 355 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We're here in the capital of Panama, the crazy, massive Panama City. And we've been here for the past five days or so, doing as much editing as humanly possible, whilst going for some swims in the pool. And chilling out in a nice air-conditioned room. <laughs> yeah, which is totally over now. <laughs> I did enjoy it a lot though <laughs> but it kind of means that we didn't acclimatize to the panamanian weather it is currently 30 degrees right now and it's only nine in the morning and it's really humid so whew. i'm excited yeah let's see how this goes it's gonna be a long time before we see air conditioning again we have a super exciting start to today because of course right next to Panama City is the Panama Canal and that's where we're heading right now. Panama City is actually on the south side of the canal and uh, we actually have to cross the Panama Canal to continue making our way north towards Costa Rica. So it's about 20 minutes to head over to the Panama Canal now. It's already nine o'clock so better hit the road, let's go. Okay, according to the map, we are already next to the canal system. I think it's starting here. Yeah, I can see already some um, container over there. No way. <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I think this part here is just where uh, the canal is just beginning with the first locks. Because actually it's crazy that this canal actually goes from sea level and then through a series of locks actually rises up 27 meters to cross the center of Panama 
and then it has to go then back through another series of locks to go back down to sea level. Crazy. I think the whole procedure takes 11 hours. So I think we're right up against the edge of the canal now. You've got the railway on the right and the canal on the left. Now the railway actually came before the canal because before they built the canal the only way to get goods from the Pacific to the Atlantic was to basically unload it onto trains, train it across the whole of Panama and then load it back onto ships. Wow, look at this boat! Wow. So we are here, we have arrived at the Panama Canal and a giant boat is just about to pass through. It's so unbelievably big, this boat. Oh my God. I think it's an oil tanker. So we're here at the Miraflores Lock, which is basically where the boats have come in, risen up, and now they're going to be on, our, on their way that way along to the Atlantic Ocean. Incredible. And this is actually the second boat because there's another boat, like a huge container ship, which passed as well on the other side. Like, I think they have two exodus and entries here. I guess so. Incredible. <gasps> Incredible, look how big it is. Wow, I'm really excited for some reason. I don't know why. It's oh, like... because it's absolutely awesome. Yes, look at that. Yes. So at this point, the canal is actually 16 meters above sea level. So they've actually already risen up this like mega, mega, mega ton tanker. This has been risen up 16 meters already I from the ocean. It. I can't believe it. It's amazing. Yes. So the canal is actually 51 miles long. 82 kilometers long so it's not as long as the Suez Canal and it was actually built after the Suez Canal but the difficulty in building this one was much greater than the Suez Canal because of course here it's tropical it's really bad conditions for workers actually they started work in 1881 trying to build this canal apparently 22,000 people died wow. when they tried to construct this it was a French company that started trying to construct this then in 1904 the US bought basically everything all the excavation equipment no they bought the workers they bought the rights to everything and they overtook the production of the canal Hello. And then it still took the US 10 years to build it and the canal was actually opened in 1914. So in the first year that it opened, 1914, a thousand ships passed through here. But now more than 800,000 ships pass through here every year. So it's like incredibly busy and apparently they have to pay like over a million dollars like entry to get through. <laughs> That's crazy, no? That's so much money, yeah? It's such a complex construction here. Yeah, can you incredible. imagine when they were trying to build this, this was before they had computers, before they had electricity. It was even before they had like engines. They, I mean, this was like built with steam engines, like steam diggers. They didn't have hydraulics. They didn't have electrics. They didn't have the combustion engine. Wow. <laughs> Photo shoot going on with the bike. So cute, this guy's from Ecuador. I love it. Bye! Bye bye! bye. bye. Ciao. Ciao. Goodbye, Panama Canal. Bye bye! Actually, we're gonna cross it in just a minute on that yeah. bridge. <laughs> okay, we say goodbye then.
Okay, here we go. We're about to go over the bridge that passes over the canal. <laughs> Magica. Whoa, here we go. Wow, it's such a high bridge as well. It's got to be high enough that all the container ships and oil tankers and cruise ships and everything can pass underneath. Wow. Wow, there it is. Riding over the Panama Canal. Can you believe it? I actually can't. <laughs> <gasps> wow, look at that. Wow. Cool, so cool, really. Yeah, it's like one of those landmarks that you can't actually imagine ever being next to. Yeah, I remember that we were in school talking about the Panama Canal and now we are riding over it. <laughs> it's crazy, no? Amazing. Oh, we're here, we made it. So there we go. Now we've just got the short ride up to the US. Exactly. <laughs> oh, I really thought that we were finished with the rain after we had been through the rainy season in Bolivia, in Peru, in Ecuador, which was the craziest. And I looked at Panama and Central America and it was like, it shouldn't be the rainy season. It should be absolutely fine. Beautiful sunshine all the time. But this is what we've got. Sun, where are you? Seriously, Panama, you better step up. Whoa, we've got a fire right next to the road. Oh wow, my that, goodness. Wow, that's hot here. Wow, that's hot. Wow. And here as well. Whoa, look at this. Be careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. That's really dangerous. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's like a controlled thing. I don't think so. I mean, that was like right next to the road. It was, wasn't it? Crazy. Yeah, because as you guys can see, the rain has stopped and the temperature is back up to 32 degrees. And actually, it's looking really, really sunny now, so... <laughs> back to sweating buckets. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So we came inside this uh, petrol station shop uh, to hide from the heat and get some air conditioning. And we were too tempted, we were a little bit naughty and uh, we got some pizza and some burger that we cut in half to share. Yeah, so what we always do is actually getting two different meals, vegetarian meals, and then we do half-half. <laughs> we couldn't resist. Ah! Cheers. The lease is no longer raining, but we're still just as wet because we're sweating so much. But it's actually so funny because they served us the burger with four four of these like potato corners or however you call them and it's like and we were like four chips that can't be enough <laughs> but then we looked on the on the picture and in the picture there is exactly four chips so they take that very seriously they're like every order gets four chips no more no less mm. what a nice lunch this chain is called Var and Ven. Oh no, back out into the humidity. Whew, Jesus. Wow, don't you think Bumblebee looks really cool now with like some stickers over the front? Yeah. It's pretty cool, no? Yeah, we just need more. A few more, yeah. Everywhere. Looks good though. Oh, and Bumblebee is so clean as well. So we are out into the Panamanian countryside now. We've got some small mountains coming up over there. It's actually a lot drier than I expected. I was kind of thinking that it was going to be like tropical rainforest straight out of Panama City. Yeah, I didn't expect it as well. It's super dry. I think it's like as well the end of the uh, dry season. So everything is super dry. You never know until you go, hey? But anyway, it's a pretty chilled ride. So I think it's a good opportunity to tell you guys a little bit about country number 13, I think, on our journey around the world, Panama. So just like most of the other countries that we've been to so far in South America, 
Panama has been home to people for like 10,000 years since basically the first human migrations came down across the Bering Strait and down into the Americas. The two major tribes that were inhabiting this region when the Spanish arrived were the Cuevas and the Cochle tribes and apparently it was an incredibly populated place. Estimates range from anywhere between 200,000 and 2 million people living here when the Spanish arrived. But of course, just like most places in South and Central America, the local populations were decimated after Spanish colonization. And apparently there's hardly any indigenous people left. The current population of Panama is 4.3 million. Nearly half of them live in the capital, Panama City. So earlier today we saw Panama's gold mine, the Panama Canal. Because of this canal contributing so much to the country's GDP, the country is actually ranked 57th in the world in GDP per capita. So it's actually a pretty wealthy country compared to other countries in Central America. So Panama finally got independence from Spain in 1821 as part of Gran Colombia. They actually remained part of Colombia for quite a long time after that. They didn't get independence as a sovereign nation until 1903. And that is about as much information as I can remember right now. And we are doing pretty well today. We've traveled 116 miles so far. We have 171 miles to reach a town called David or David. So anyway, we're just gonna cruise along sweating buckets as usual Sin tus caderas no puedo cantar Sin tus caderas no puedo gozar Sin tus caderas y movimiento mi ritmo y música va a parar Sin tu cadera mi melodía no vale nada Sin tus caderas mi ritmo no se llama el sol Sin tus caderas no hay fiesta, no hay ron Sin tus caderas sin movimiento mi ritmo y música va a parar Sin tus caderas mi melodía no vale nada Ay, 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 a la sierra Okay, so you guys might wonder why we're going backwards up a highway. Well, the rear camera just fell off the bike. Literally, we just adjusted it a couple of minutes ago and then Lavi just looked behind her and just said, oh my God, it's gone. Yeah. So now we are edging our way on the hard shoulder to see if we can spot it because man, that's a pretty expensive camera. So I really, really don't want to lose it. Oh man, where is it? How far do you think we went? I don't know. Since we adjusted it, probably like a few miles at least. Hey? Yeah. If it came off on the corner here, it would have flown down, down this side. But I'll check. Oh, what's that there? No, it's not this one. No? No. I'll check on this side, you check on the bank. Okay. No, I haven't seen it yet, hold on. Holy crap stick. Oh, what's that? Oh, I keep seeing black things, but it's not it. I just don't know how far we have to go back. We found it. We have found it. Oh no! Ah, oh, it's been run over. It's been totally, totally. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh, it's working. I don't know if it's working or not, but I can hear the normal beeping procedure. Maybe we can use it just like that. <laughs> Wait, listen. No, okay, that didn't work. All right. Okay, so it's like 
good news and bad news at the same time hey yeah more bad than good news but i mean we found it at least which means whatever data's on there we yeah. can at least get this get the footage from today but then the question is just whether or not we're going to be able to ever film with it again yeah oh man okay so we've just been pulled over or stopped by this police guy on a motorbike so i'm just going to find out what it is he wants he asked for my passport and driver's license so let's see uh pass passport see sí, okay uh, okay i think so how how do you Oh, he has a gun, like a, um, a, a speed gun. Oh, I thought that the speed limit on the highway in Panama was 100 kilometers per hour. Ochentaki. Ochentaki. Ah, I'm sorry, I didn't see a sign. Uh huh. Okay. Ah, uh, lo siento, no, no via en el señal. Que veces cien. Muy poco. Okay, poco, poco cien. Poco, poco, poco cien. Okay, ochenta. Ochenta, sesenta. Ochenta, sesenta. Okay. Where must we go to pay the ticket? Donde debemos ir para el boleto? Panama. Uh, Estación o? Or... Panama. Ah. ¿Cuándo viene para acá? Uh, no, no, David, David. 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 David, uh, Costa Rica. Sí. Yeah. Oi, David. Uh, yes, uh, uh, sleep in David. Oh, See. Okay. Huh? This one. You wanna say. Did I get my passport back? No. Yeah. Did yeah. I get my driver's license? No. Yeah. And then he saw that I was recording. <laughs> it's like the worst thing to happen. Because he was about to ask for money, that's why. Yeah, yeah. He did the same as the guy in Bali. He was like, ticket, ticket, ticket. And then afterwards, like, actually, I can cancel your ticket right now for 10 bucks. Okay, so that ended pretty well in the end. I was a little bit worried there for a minute. After I said we didn't have cash, he just shook my hand and said, no problem, you know? <laughs> no problem, no, just go your way. Cruise wow. control 50 from now on because um, I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> Yeah, he got the speed limit. <laughs> He's going faster. Twenty-two thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine point nine. We just hit twenty-three thousand miles on the road so far. Woo! <laughs> 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 finally arriving in the town of David and we're finally turning off of this highway the Pan American that we've been following for the whole day we have done 284 miles today a lot of miles some kind of day that's a big mango tree wow can't imagine how many mangoes they can get from that one tree. Okie dokie. I think this is it. Hostel Pacasa. Okay, let's check it out. Maybe just park here. Opa. Yeah. <laughs> Hola. Hola, buenas. Hola. Buenas. 
Hola. Hola. Buenas. Hola. Hola. We made it. Happy and alive. We <laughs> just in time for the sunset because now it's pretty much dark. And this is a really busy hostel. I mean, when we arrived, there was like tons of people around. It was the cheapest room in town, 17 pounds, not too bad, but yeah, it's a room on its own without a bathroom, without a shower. But we did amazingly well today and we really made our way across like most of Panama. Thank, Thank you. you. Are you recording? Yes. Hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. So it was a really successful day. Our mission was to see the canal and then head as far as we could towards the border to Costa Rica. And we made it really far. We are only one hour from the border to Costa Rica. So basically that's gonna be our mission first thing tomorrow. And that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time.